Hey you guys, this is Heather with K-Tom Restaurant Supply and this week we're learning how to make a simple yet elegant dessert for New Year's Eve. When I say easy, I mean this dessert is easy. Um, the big part of it is just a prep. There's a lot of um, zesting a lemon and uh, there's a orange to also zest as well as um, you have to peel your pears. But um, I think you'll find that this is very simple and the outcome is very elegant looking. They will have no idea you didn't um, spend a decent amount of time in the kitchen slavering over their impressive New Year's Eve um, snack or dessert. Um, this is very fresh and it also uses champagne which makes it also perfect for New Year's Eve. Um, everybody enjoys their bubbly on New Year's Eve. <laughs> Let's get started. All right, I have a large saucepan, as you see, like a pot really. <laughs> and um, to start off the recipe, we're going to dump one bottle of bubbly. See, I've got a blush champagne here. I'm just gonna add that to our pan. Hmm, looks bubbly. I wonder why they call it bubbly. <laughs> there we go. Add that one bottle. Add a cup of sugar. Ah, nice. And we will also add about two inches of a vanilla bean. Now that's, I guess, about, um, let's say two teaspoons of vanilla extract, but I'm using the vanilla bean because all natural, you know, vanilla bean's awesome. Also going to add the zest of a lemon and an orange. And two cups of water. Cup number one there. And number two. All right, we're also going to add a, a teaspoon of cinnamon to this. Mix all of it together. I'm going to keep stirring this over medium heat until all of our sugar is dissolved. It is not yet dissolved, as you can see. Still grainy and such. But once it has dissolved, we're going to increase the heat and bring this mix to a boil. The pears I'm using... I have peeled, I've left the stem because it's going to look really nice and pretty, and I've put just a light um, covering of lemon juice on there to keep them from browning. This will keep them nice and fresh looking until we can add them to our um, liquid. Our poaching liquid has come to a boil, so I'm going to reduce the heat back down, and then we're just going to add our pears. Um, pretty darn easy. Just kind of add them in there. One at a time. That's the best way to start. <laughs> All nice and poached. We have pears, you guys. Now, we're going to cover these and we're going to cover them and cook them for 20 minutes or until they're nice and tender. 
it's all right to poke around in there once in a while and check um yep yeah, that's really about it so uh check back in a few like about 10 minutes turn them maybe that's really about it all righty once our poached darlings are nice and tender it's time to plate them um that's very very easy of course and i'm going to plate mine in a mini trifle bowl by anchor hawking we actually sell it here it's a nice little thing very pretty and you're simply just gonna plop them on in there <laughs> you can serve these hot or um cold completely cooled and make sure to serve them up with a little bit of that liquid because that poaching liquid is pure yummy. It's got all that vanilla and um, cinnamon and peel. Very, very yummy stuff. I guess it's oh. time to take a bite. <laughs> it's taste test time. Gonna take a little nibble of this, see how our guests would like it. Mmm. <laughs> got a nice pear flavor. You can definitely taste the citrus um, from the zest. And that nice champagne. Mm. It definitely lends to a good flavor to it. Oh, I guess. Serve this up with some ice cream or some, you know, whipped cream or cold um, with a cinnamon stick. Nice and pretty like that. Either way, it makes for a Fairly impressive um, little uh, dessert and great for uh, New Year's Eve, champagne and everything. Well, you guys have a great weekend. Have a wonderful New Year's Eve and I'll see you next year. for you guys. These can be stored in their liquid for up to three days and taste fantastic. So you can make these three days ahead of time. Don't have to mess up your plans for um, New Year's. <laughs>